In actuality, we're going to have a real constellation, you guys will see. In fact, the entire nature of the heavens will abruptly change without warning. You know, when, when this other, when our binary twin comes in, you guys do understand that's a devastating event. And no one can escape it. Hiding in rocks and, and all these different things, it's not going to help a person. Many people will be entombed in underground shelters. Uh, the, these fortified underground facilities are going to be entombed in these places, right? I know that there are certain places when they seal that door, it takes two years to get out. For example, there are certain bases when they seal the doors. Those doors are explosively shut, which means the rim around that door is somewhat melted. It's, I mean, it's a perfect seal. And it takes about two years to get out of there. Right? You can't just reopen the door if you make a mistake. So when they seal the doors, doors are sealed. Right? They began get, getting these uh, bases ready, uh, I say about 10 years ago. You guys should have heard explosions in the desert for no reason. And it wasn't fracking. Of course, that was popular b back then, and they blamed uh, um, loss of these small earthquakes and everything else on fracking. Now, in some cases, yes, it is. The epicenters of these earthquakes, um, they coincide with these uh, fracking sites. But in other cases, you had large plumes of dirt coming out of vent holes in the middle of, of you know, different states, and nobody knew why. That's when they are doing the air exchange. They're actually starting to, to uh, test and seal some of these places, these underground facilities. Um, they also start them up, and they make weird sounds in the heavens, weird sounds. Um, but that's just the way it is. Um, these guys have been prepared for a long time. That's why you have these floating stories about underground bases, so on and so forth, uh, all the time. And you have an accumulation of mystery lines, we're going to call them, right? Mystery lines. So with the passage of this object, fire is going to be, uh, fire is going to be a, uh, a big thing. It's going to be a big thing, right? Many things will die because of the heat. Heat, bad heat. The sun will not remain as it is now. It's going to continue to heat. They knew back in 2000, uh, they knew back in 2008 um, that the sun was responsible for heating up the earth. They knew that. All the rest of the planets are heating up. <laughs> they finally admitted they were wrong about Venus. They were wrong about Neptune. They were wrong about Jupiter. They finally admitted that they were wrong about it, that their theories were wrong, that Jupiter is not some gas giant. They finally admitted that. Um, these planets are hot, very hot, very heavy, especially Jupiter. Jupiter has a core, a solid core, right? So this gas giant thing went right out the window. Um, and, of course, as, they, as more and more people are educated uh, in sciences, they have no choice but to come clean with the truth. They can't continue to keep people blind. One of the reasons they have history the way it is so that you will never look in certain places so that you will never come to a conclusion and be ready before they are right if you are surprised and frightened and out of your mind because of these changes those who understand these changes can stand in positions of power and everybody else will yield to them right they will they they, they're pretty good at that. They do that right now. It is the reason why people will elect folks the way they elect. People are dying for someone to solve problems for them. They are. And so that's what they're going to do. They're going to get someone who will solve problems for them, which is ironic. The, you guys do remember prior to 2012, people were warning. They say, hey, listen, if somebody comes on the scene and they can solve problems, Get away, stay, don't, stay away from that person, right? Why? Because they were talking about the influence of the Antichrist. Remember that? 